and the additional heal. Alright, we got him. Well, he wasn't too bad. Alright, we're just going to pump up the dexterity for the damage from the whip. Now we have to run back to town. Getting one more battle. Shouldn't give us too much trouble. Start off with Terramancy. Gonna focus on this top one to try to kill him quickly. Oh, that hurt. I need, really need to get that. Uh, really need to get the chain vest for my ninja. Which I think I should have enough money for now, so I'll pick that up with my ninja, and that should help quite a bit. First, rest and revive the story. Okay. Yes, I do have enough for this. And this is really needed. I think I'm going to buy it for my bard as well. Could even afford it for my druid, but we're going to hold off on that purchase for a while. Alright. Now, I'm going to throw down a quick save. Okay, anyway, these ninjas are pretty brutal. So... There's a chance that they could kill me, but that's why I threw down the save there. If I was really, you know, if I had practiced this speed run, or this, it's not really a speed run, but if I had practiced this run through, I probably wouldn't waste time actually with the save because it all uses time which is the last thing you want to be doing if you're trying to beat it as fast as possible. But, seeing as this is my first time actually trying this, that's what I did. Now, this battle is making me realize I didn't buy any campfires, which is pretty bad, because I need them. I'm especially going to need them, and once I get to the sunken caverns. So I have one campfire and one tent. I'm not sure if that's really enough, so I'm going to run back and buy two more campfires. See, again, this is a waste of time, but that's what you have to do. Okay, I'm just going to buy one, I think. Maybe that'll be enough. Oh, and while I'm here, I might as well use the end. Actually, I am going to buy that second one. 250 is expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Okay. So here we're going. Probably should have focused on these tremor trillos first. But it's always good to have that poison running down on the big, big health monster. Throw out the Terramancy. There we go. Got that guy poisoned. Gonna blade dance. Nice. Okay, Blade Dance is this bottom one, so I'm going to focus on that one next. And we're just going to attack with the, the Druid. Okay, that will be very useful in this upcoming battle. 
All right, we need to make sure that we're topped off. So there we go. Our ninja's all set. We're all full health. Should be able to make it. Yep, and we made it there. So let's skip all this dialogue. And then prophecy. There's no way we can skip. But we get some interesting, uh, interesting stuff here about what will happen in the next game. Which isn't something that anybody knows about yet. But it'll be interesting. But you can't skip it. You have to watch it. And then as soon as it's done, the ninjas will appear. You have to fight the bandits. And I usually take out the top one first. That's the best one to take out because otherwise he will steal your potions and heal the others. Which is bad in two ways because you don't want him to heal the others and you definitely don't want him to steal your potions. Um, after that, you can target the bottom one or the left one. Uh, either way is okay. I usually go for the bottom one, but depends on whether you care more about the life lace ability or the double slash. Okay. Nice thing is, I already have Area of Ancients, so this fight should go pretty well, I think. And we just got Temporal Wave, which is very nice. Making everybody lose a turn is, is very good. So I think we'll be able to kill this top one very quickly. And we just got the ninja's crisis strike as well so things are looking very good for me and not so good for the crimson bandits heat wave use flaws finish that should do a lot of damage yep okay our druid is low so we're going to heal the druid. We're still going to use Blade Dance because it's actually a 75% damage. And 75% times 2 is still more than 100%. So we split it up evenly. Ooh, our Mystic's very low, but I think we can kill this guy this turn. So I'm just going to push for the damage. Yep, and we got him. Not bad. It's good to be able to take that guy out. Those guys out there, they can be pretty tough if if you get the wrong order of things happening. It's pretty bad. I'm just going to use a campfire. I know it would be much cheaper to run to town, but again, we're just trying to go straight through, so we're just going to burn the campfire and keep going. After this battle, we'll, we'll save it just to make sure nothing bad happens. Again, you gotta, you gotta love it every time you see a nasty ability get negated by the Mystic. Just a wonderful thing to see. Okay, we just got World Quake, which is very nice, but I'm going to save that because there's definitely going to be some guy I want to use that on pretty soon. Okay, I won that battle. Getting fairly close to levels. Okay. Drop a quick save and we might... Nope, we can't make it to the beach this time. We'll definitely make it there next time. Okay, I'm not really sure I want to use World Click on these guys either because they're fairly weak and there's much more difficult battles coming up. So we're just going to save that. Well, that would have saved us some health for sure. But that's alright. We'll manage just... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's what happens when you rotate it. You want to hit ability, but your defend action is right there. Okay, we 
we're just going to tack this guy down. And there we go. Alright, should maybe be able to make it to the desert. Yep. Now, there's some treasure chest on the top. I believe it has a rapier, but I can't remember for sure. And, but I'm just going to skip it because I don't want that. I like using whips with my bard, and he's the only one that could use it anyway. So, And there is the wonderful world quake. It is really nice to see your whole enemy, your whole enemy party just get destroyed. All right, I just got Dark Orb, which is very nice. Now, I should be able to be, be doing some damage with most everybody. Nice 540. Terramancy. And with that, Terramancy in, on the beach actually drops the resistances. So that means my Dark Orb is even more effective. Okay, we're in, we're in a pretty dangerous situation with the Bard, but... I think just Song of Heroes it up and fight it out. Okay, we're gonna dark over this bottom guy. He should die, yep. And we're gonna try to make it a Spirit of Spring or a Spirit of Summer. Unfortunately, the enemies all get a turn. Here, I was hoping that it would be fast enough for my druid to go before them because. Changing forms is actually a very quick, abil uh, very quick ability, but it wasn't, unfortunately. This should basically wipe everybody out. Oh, nope, not quite. It's got to be pretty close, though, so... Yeah, see, just this last guy. I have my Crisis Strike and my Mystic. going to save that. Okay, now we do need to burn another tent because our campfire. Hmm. Let's actually use an Aqua Vitae instead. No, I, I need to save that in case he dies in a more important battle. We're just going to use a campfire here and keep going. We're going to save that last tent just before the boss battle of the water of the sunken caverns. It could seem pretty inefficient to waste a tent there, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And later on, it won't really be a problem to buy one more tent. Okay, these guys are gonna die really quickly because Area of Ancients just went off. So that means we're gonna be doing a lot of damage. They still do put out the damage though, so you can't just take these guys lightly. And look at that. that normal attack with the fuzz fuse going off just does a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to put two more points into Stamina, and luckily, our ninja gained a level, so all that damage didn't really matter, doesn't affect us at all, and we just gained a very, very useful ability with him, Shuriken. So that does damage to everybody, and more importantly, poisons them. So now you'll notice they take damage every single round, which is very nice. And with that, I'm probably going to put my ninja in the back row. 